Hello everyone, welcome back to The Legend of Korra. We are in Season 2, we're on Episode 10. It is called A New Spiritual Age. In the last episode, Korra and Jinora had just crossed over to the spiritual realm, the spirit realm, and I'm really happy to see Jinora having a role and a place in the story, as opposed to being just one of the three kids. And I'm really excited to see where this is going to go. So I hope you guys enjoy. Look forward to reading all your comments. Thank you for sticking around with me through this. And let's do it. I can't believe my little girl had to guide Cora into the spirit world instead of me. If anything happens to her, I won't be able to forgive myself. They won't have their bending in there. They'll be defenseless. Um, <clears throat> excuse me? <laughs> Please come back soon. Oh, he's so worried. Oh, Isn't it, it is. This seems nice, but you never know when we'll run into some dark spirits. <sighs> True. Aww. It's like it's made of jewels. I want to go there. Jinora, be careful. Hold on. <laughs> we're, we're on a mission here. Who do you think you are stomping through here like that? I'm the Avatar. <laughs> Not impressed. I don't trust These your gophers. <laughs> my world. We don't need you. Oh. You don't belong here. Ugh. She tried to bend at us in our own holes. Get her! Jinora! <laughs> oh. Well, this took a took a turn for the worst. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> this is so cool. Jinora! Oh no, they got separated. Oh great! I knew things had to get crazy at some point, but I wish we could have frolicked in the. Beautiful Jinora! meadow for a little bit longer. Oh my. She's found herself where the dark spirits like to hang out, it looks like. Maybe. Look at that hand spider thing. That's so cool. Oh. Baby Cora. Now what's Jinora up to? Oh, she's we're frolicking in the beautiful meadow. Okay. Oh, Furry her fun? friends. Is that you? They're big here. You're so big here. <laughs> oh, the little little foot. We were supposed to go find the spirit portals, but I don't know how to find anything down here. It's like an awesome tree house. Oh. It's Wanji Tong Spirit Library. Oh, the library. Wow. Ah, get away! Oh. Oh. I'm sorry I spotted you. You just scared me. You two look lost. <gasps> Maybe I can help you. Hello, Cora. I was in here. We're having a little tea party. Help yourself to some tea and cakes. They are spirit cakes, so you won't gain any weight. Of course, you won't lose any either. <laughs> oh my gosh. He lives on in the spirit world having tea parties with the spirits? That is just amazing. I'm so happy. I could just stay in here forever. Yes. The last human who said that is still here. Oh. This is so cool. Get out. I thought anyone could come in if they brought you some new knowledge. What is the little girl going to teach Wan Chi Tong? I love this guy so much. I've always loved his design. The humans have invented radio. Yes, I am well aware of the radio. And inside the box, there is a tiny man who sings and plays musical instruments. Actually. Actually. <laughs> radio takes those sound waves and converts them into electromagnetic energy that is transmitted through the spectrum. All right, enough. Apparently, I have been fed some misinformation about the existence of tiny men in boxes. Ah. Uh. You came with the Avatar, hmm? Well, why didn't you say so? Fine. You may look around. Wait, didn't things go horribly wrong the last time the Avatar came here? You'd think he'd be upset. They say that the game of Pai Shou was invented by the spirits. Just hold on. I'm thinking. <laughs> When my work was done in the material world, I chose to leave my body behind and come to the spirit world. 
I'd like to think of him as like a force ghost. I lost her. Now I'm all alone. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I don't like the spirit world. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, she oh no. Cora, please stop. Her energy is is not great. In the spirit world, your emotions become your reality. You must try to stay positive. I'm sorry. Baby Cora is adorable. Oh, that was a close one. I'm looking for my friend. I want her here now. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. Sometimes the best way to solve your own problems is to help someone else. Maybe if you help him find his friends. I'll take him home. There, at the top of High Rio Peak. Well, this might take some time. I love that we get some little tidbits of Iroh's wisdom. Probably one of the best things about Avatar series is, uh, was getting little words of wisdom, little nuggets of wisdom from, from Iroh. The Tree of Time. During the Harmonic Convergence, this energy will be great enough to allow Vatu to break free from his bonds. We have to warn Korra. Leaving so soon, I had to see it with my own eyes. Oh, no. What kind of a father is he? Better than you. Oh. Unalak has proven to be a true friend to the spirits, unlike the Avatar. Oh, so I was right. Why don't you come with me so you can do some first-hand research? Nope. Don't do it. Furry foot? Scary foot. You have light and peace inside of you. If you let it out, you can change the world around you. But does he seem scary to you now? Many things that seem threatening in the dark become welcoming when we shine a light on them. The spirit world is so cool and interesting. It was good to meet you. It was good Come to see you. Come visit me again. Oh, please. In this life or the next. Yes. Yes. We have to see him again. Oh, Iroh. Bye. So she, when she got separated from Janora, she felt very small and alone in this scary place. And so she became as a little girl because of her feelings and her perception. Oh my. You're not scary. You just look that way. I have light inside. It's okay. You can be my friends. She's learning. They don't look any less scary. <laughs> I thought they were going to turn into little kittens. <laughs> now they look like clowns. <laughs> See how powerful Iroh's words of wisdom are. Oh, beautiful. Whoa. It's like a phoenix. It's beautiful. All right. Now let's close that portal and go find Janora. She's got her confidence back. Wow. So you've returned, Rama. Whoa! That was amazing. You're not getting out. You might want to reconsider. That is, if you want to save your friend. No. Oh no. Man, the art direction in this is sometimes just spectacular. I can't believe I trusted you. You made me think you wanted to restore balance with the spirits, but this, this isn't balance, it's madness. If you want your friend to make it out of the spirit world, you'll open the other portal no. now. Open the portal. Oh. Or lose no. your friend's soul Jerk. forever. Her soul? I'll do it. She has to. It's Tenzin's baby girl. Janora, go! Ah, this asshole! You should have 
come through the portal, then you could do this. Oh, so he's got some some new strength now because he went through the portal. He's not just a regular waterbender anymore. Once the harmonic convergence comes, I'll be free from this prison. Dang it. Cora, what was it like? It went all wrong. Did you wrong. manage to close the portal? Tenzin, I'm, I'm sorry. Where's Jinora? Why isn't she waking up? Oh no. Cora, what happened to my little girl? The show. I am baffled why this show is not as popular as Avatar The Last Airbender. Like, I don't know why people think that this be a lesser show. It's... If you were a fan of Avatar, that this show is the perfect continuation of that. I feel, like, really angry. This... Oh, man. I am so hooked on this storyline and I just I love this the spirit world and all this Iroh was there like this is amazing I'm so emotionally invested like hmm this season definitely is just like wow blowing me away we got to learn about Avatar 1 and Rava and Vatu and the spirit world is so crazy cool like it's like Alice in Wonderland it's it's just anything can happen reality is always changing it, it's in a constant state of ebb and, ebb and flow the, the rules are just like out the window the rules as we know them anyways and Iroh's there Iroh's spirit lives on in the spirit world having tea parties with spirits I'm so happy I'm so happy, but oh, I hate Unalak, man. So he has more powerful bending now that he went through the portal. But also he has like this power to suck someone's soul out of them. We definitely need to learn more about that. I'm not really sure exactly, but he said that he was going to take Janora's soul or maybe trap her in the spirit realm or I don't know but she's still there and Tenzin I can't imagine what he's feeling right now so much fear the stakes are high the stakes are really high and this is amazing and that's all I have to say thank you guys for watching tell me if you felt similar things to me when you watched this this season i mean i don't know how book three and book four are gonna go book one was really good but this is just like this is really hitting all the right spots for me this season here anyways i look forward to reading all of your guys's comments thank you again so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye